Hi everyone, Cheeky Time here and Tim. Hello all. Today we're going to be making our Coleman's chicken casserole. That's what it's going to look like guys when we're finished. It's good doesn't it? Serves four. Let's get started. We've done our prep and we've got some carrots. You can read the ingredients here and that's what we've prepared. So this is what it says that you put in it. So we've gotten all those things plus some more because on the cover there you'll notice there's potatoes and it doesn't say to put potatoes in it here. So we're going to put potatoes in ours. We've also got some broccolini to serve it up with. It says here to have a skinless portions of chicken and we've got chicken thighs and Tim's cut them in half. So they cook quicker. I kind of thought you would just have the four portions and brown those, right? Yeah. But you've cut them in half again. Yeah, so I've made eight double portions. You oil. put vegetable oil in. Quite a bit, isn't it? It's a big pan. I mean, so we've got eight portions of chicken to cook. So we've got to get that hot first. How do you know if oil in a pan is hot? Put your finger in it? No. Should you be wearing an apron? No. Okay, I'm going to just make a little hole in the middle and I'll put the onions in there. Get them cooked up. You could almost just eat that once it was cooked. No. This is a difficult process for me because usually if I was cooking chicken or something, I would have marinated it or done something to it beforehand. That's just go by the rules. All the chicken thighs go around the outside, around the outside, oh around the outside. The chicken good, hon. So I think the brown up there. Mm. I think we're ready to go. So next up we add the vegetables. Three carrots. One potato, even though it said no potatoes and no. yet they showed it on the it cover. Is. I feel like that's sneaky. Mix it in water and add to the dish. There we go. Ooh, what's it smell like? Chicken casserole. Ooh, oh look, there's parsley in there. Okay. Ooh. Watch the magic happen now. I hope the potatoes cook in time. What do you mean? Oh, they'll cook easy. They'll be cooked in half an hour. Sure. So it's a cook for an hour though, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So this is going to go into the oven for an hour. 170 fan forced oven. Put the lid on. In it goes. Look at Tim, quietly confident. Okay guys, it's been about 40 minutes, so I thought I'd give the casserole a stir to get ready and cooked evenly. It smells pretty good. Don't know about the look of it. It looks very... Watery? Mm. Might just need stirring. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't imagine in half an hour that that... Will thicken up. Yeah. Maybe we should leave the lid off it. It's said covered, but it doesn't matter if you take the lid off, surely. Mm. No, 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 look, we've got to go by the instructions because people want to know at home if this will actually work if you just follow the instructions and if it tastes any good. Let's do it then, yep. stick to the rules. So Tim's going to put that back in the oven. I've had a mini disaster. I busted a button off my top. Back in. Do you remember this top? I bought this off eBay and one of the selling points was it said that it's hand stitched and it had a little sign that said hand stitched and I thought that's adorable. Oh, sure. This is what I didn't realise. How stupid is that? It actually has stitched into it, hand stitched. <laughs> I am cooking some broccolini to go with our chicken casserole because on the cover they have broccolini and I was jealous. You know, they don't give you instructions to put it in. Once again, they're being sneaky and putting it on the cover. And you've got to watch them. You've got to watch them like a hawk. Yeah, those aren't cooked. So this has been in the oven for an hour and there's been a little disaster, just, just a little one. Someone went outside the recipe and put potatoes in. But I'm glad she did because it makes it nice. Okay, chef. We'll wait and see, it'll be fine. I'll put it on for another 10, eh? Yeah. It's actually been really, really difficult for me to stand back and let Tim do the cooking. I really like to cook. Tim doesn't like to cook, so it's been a real change. I hate Cooking. Cooking's the kids. <laughs> Let me know below if you like to cook. See, I find for this Coleman's recipe thing, oh, it's an instant thing in a packet, but you actually have to do a little bit of work to get the end result. Like what? Tim actually didn't cut up any of the things to put in it. Oh, that's why I have a sous chef. Tim has checked the casserole. He stabbed the potatoes and they're good. I'm happy so... with the condition. It's in there for five okay. minutes. This looks like it's thickened up a little. It's whether we taste this and say, yes, I would get that again. Well, we'll never get it again because we can't buy it here. 
But it just looks like the picture. It does look pretty good. I guess the big test too will be me. I am fussier with food than Tim is. You are. I mean, smelling this thing in the oven cooking has made me hungry, I can tell you that. Oh man, that guy next door in his blower, hey? Are you loving that? He's noisy. Is that enough potato in there for you, honey? Because I know how you are with your potato. Let's have a little bit more. <laughs> you love your potato. You know what looks best about this meal to me? The broccolini. <laughs> Does it look pretty good to you guys? Well, here it is, honey. Lunch is served. It's all the way from the UK. Chicken casserole. Hot, hot, hot. How are you even eating that? Have you got a polystyrene mouth or something? Mm, it's quite nice. It's um, not too watery like we thought it would be. Hmm. The chicken actually is okay in it. I was worried about it having no flavor or very little flavor because I'm used to seasoning things first. Hot! Mm. How are you even eating it? Perfectly cooked, very delicious, very tasty. Chicken's tender. Hmm. But I think the secret is using the, the thigh fillets, not the breast. Yeah. I love it how he's gone all chefy now. <laughs> I would have to say I nailed this one. Thank you, Brian. I think I'm enjoying this chicken dish better than the tuna one. The tuna one had a little bit of a weird bakey taste to it, which I noticed on the second serving of it when we ate it the second night. This one, I actually think is a lot better. The flavor's a lot nicer. I would use this again. Yes, definitely. definitely. There's nothing yeah. wrong with it. The consistency's perfect. It's not too thick. It's not yeah. too runny. If you cook that for people and they didn't know it was from a packet, they'd go, wow, you're a good cook. Cheese! Thank you so much, Brian, for sending this one. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Shaky Tan here. Today... And oh. Tim. <laughs>